I'm just getting my Sims 2 soundtrack ready. Can you see my game? No, hold on. There we go. Okay, we're ready. Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, I should probably change the bot command to not be talking about the shell challenges, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I did everything else. I got rid of the shell point reward and stuff. I did not change the bot command. There's always something. We're building a library. <laughs> I don't know. Um, using just the base game for new crest. That's better. Anyway, hi everybody. Welcome back. We're gonna work on one of our uh, base game builds for new crest today. That is the plan. So I'm looking forward to it. Although I've kind of been scaring myself. I don't know if I like either of these. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to see how it goes. Um, we're gonna try and build a library that's gonna go near this. Um, but we'll have to see. <laughs> how excited am I for Thursday? I'm so excited I can't think straight. Oh my goodness, I actually can't wait. It's gonna be so good. Anyway, um, I think everything's ready. We should be good to go. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I like these. So that's gonna make this, I don't know. Maybe I'll build something completely different and then I'll redo those, who knows? We're never gonna finish this new crest save because I'm gonna build everything three times. What happens on Thursday? Taylor Swift! <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> the whole chat, what happens on Thursday? <laughs> Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. Um, so <laughs> literally every single chat message was asking about that. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, anyway, I was seeing Taylor Swift on Thursday, so I'm really excited. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys for the subs and stuff. I'm gonna try and catch up really fast. Morty and Samantha and Serena, Ellie, Rennie, Caleb, Meg, Krista, Holly, Haley, Chloe, Rosie, and Shell and Purple. Thank you all so much. Um, I finally moved my legacy sim with the last name Gilbert to Gilbert Gardens. That is iconic. Didn't know there was a pond there. Oh yeah, there's actually a couple cute things over here. This is one of my favorite parts of New Crest. I like how close together the lots are. I think it's fun when the lots are all kind of close together. So anyway, can I show what lot this is? Yeah, this is the uh, 40 by 30 lot at the top of New Crest. So it's just up here, this one. Midtown Meadows is what it is called. So you have the SAT tomorrow, ooh. Oh, that'll be so fun. <laughs> Woo, have a great time. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's so exciting. <laughs> no, you'll do great, you'll do great. It'll be fun and you'll do, it won't be fun, but you'll do great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Iris, Anna, Jacob, Emily, and Soft, and CK, and Calypso, and Emily, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, Okay, anyway, I, we're gonna build a library here. It's gonna be fun because it's gonna get to be kind of big, so I don't know. I don't know. I have, hold on. I saw, this is like a totally different vibe than what we, um, the other lots near here look like that we built, but I saw this and I liked it. This though, it's not gonna work out with the buildings that we already made. I mean, I guess it could be like fancier. It's newer, it's updated. But I kind of liked the vibes of this. Hi, Steph. <laughs> also, Lisa and Mark and Savage and Joanna and Paulina and Jessica and Violet and Dying and, and Kat, thank you for the subs, everybody. The library is new. No, I'll pro I, look, listen, I haven't liked the other two logs this whole time. So if I have to redo them, then so, then so be it. Um, I'm fully prepared for that to happen, so. <laughs> I'm fully prepared to have to do it again. <laughs> oh, Miss Savage, thanks for coming by. I really appreciate that. That's really kind of you. Um, yeah, so basically, if you guys missed it, we've been working on building lots to fill up all of Newcrest um, using just the base game. So we built uh, like this country club that's a wedding venue. We've got a playground. I made a gym and a bar. Uh, I made a couple houses and we're gonna do the library today. We've kind of like not done this in the past couple weeks because we got so distracted by growing together. Um, but now things have calmed down and uh, we can, <laughs> you feel unwell about all these kit announcements. When they posted that thing today and it said four kits, if you could have seen my jaw drop. <laughs> four kits. <laughs> oh 
my god. Anyway, um, huh, what? Oh, they posted a, uh, the roadmap today on Twitter with the, the content plans for the next, like, three months. It's not really surprising to me that it's not, like, a, a big pack, you know, because we just got growing together. But it's, like, the number of four kits feels like so much. It feels like so much, you know? <laughs> How did you miss this? Well, they posted it today. Um, they posted it on Twitter and on Instagram. I made a video about it that I posted like an hour ago as well. So. <laughs> oh, they didn't actually announce what the kits are, Jenny. The whole thing says four kits, one hot new update. That's the whole, that's all they said. Yeah, we're gonna do a pool for it, Banfan. That's the plan. We wanted to do the library first, though. Um, yeah, there's a couple, like, icons that might be, or, like, there's, like, a plant and some books, and, like, there may be our teasers. It's hard to say, though. Um, but, anyway. Anyway. <sighs> oh, God. We shall see how it goes. We'll, we'll worry about that when it happens. <laughs> hey, Pearl, Bananas, Amber, and Emily, and Tent, and Starburst, and, and Shio, and Poet, and Space, and Jenny, and Lexi. Thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, I think the leaf on the roof is a greenhouse. That's kind of what I was thinking too, Pita. Um, that was kind of a thought that I had had because there was like a, a plant, um, and like maybe some little gardening tools. And then there was an icon that looked like a leaf that had a roof over it, which is kind of screaming greenhouse to me at least. So that's kind of what I thought also. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I try not to get my hopes up too much about kits cause like it could literally be anything anything. <laughs> Did I post this series on YouTube with the builds? Yeah, I've been posting them all. I have posted a build video of every single one of those. Did I post the base game house on YouTube yet? I don't know. Hold on. I don't think I... Maybe I didn't post the base game house on YouTube yet. No, I didn't. Yeah, I thought I was going to post it last week and then I posted something else instead is what happened. So it was on my upload schedule, but then I didn't do it. I will post it though. <laughs> we built that on Twitch like two months ago. Literally like two months ago. Have I posted the Kale Cafe? I'm gonna post the restaurant that we built last week tomorrow. I was gonna post it today. And then um, the Sims posted a roadmap, <laughs> so. It's kind of thrown off my upload schedule. <laughs> I had to push everything by a day, so. <laughs> um, Leda, I usually stream early on Wednesdays. I won't be live early tomorrow, though. Um, because this week is weird because I'm going to a Taylor Swift concert. So I'm gonna stream early on Thursday before I leave, instead of streaming early tomorrow, if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, I always post the stream schedule in my Discord. That has some more information and details and kind of explains why and stuff. But I always stream in the morning on Wednesdays, except the past couple weeks have been weird. So anyway, we're going to try to build a library. <laughs> uh, it's going to be base game only. That's kind of the main plan here um, is to do the base game only library. And we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I don't know. Let me open up another OBS so we can record this in case we want to post it on YouTube. Let me get this ready. Okay. I'm kind of scared. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> well, okay. I must also say, sometimes when we do these builds, I end up bulldozing them once or twice. So if it happens, it happens and that's okay. Kit versus pack meaning. Are you asking for clarification? Because I can tell you, um, a pack is like a general umbrella term for any paid content they release for The Sims 4. So that could be like an expansion pack, that could be a game pack, things like Dine Out, you know, um, or a kit, and they kind of stopped doing stuff packs, um, or a kit, which is sort of like a, a little mini content pack that just has like some furniture or some clothes, usually around a theme. Um, so that's what the kits are. Kits are packs. It's just a kind of pack. So, anyway, hi Miv. 
thanks for the raid. Uh, and Molly, and Blue, she likes us with the gift and subs. Bookish, Terriel, Whale, Shan with the tier three, 36 months. Oh my god. Please put a cat cafe, bowling alley, accessible only by a bookcase door that has a glass roof and sports on the floor. <laughs> I appreciate the suggestion. Too bad it's base game, so we don't have a bowling alley. Darn it! Gosh, chat, what are we gonna do? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Things should be called Meadows Library? Oh, I like that! The lot is called Midtown Meadows. It could also be called Midtown Library, because it is Midtown Meadows. Both are good. I don't know. Let's change this lot type to a library so we can actually start. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna begin now, okay, chat? Everything's fine. We've got everything completely under control, okay? Everything is completely under control and it's gonna be so good. What, so are we gonna do the library? I don't know, it's gonna be kind of modern. Um, that's what I was thinking about. It's different than what we uh, have done for the past couple builds for this area. Is this for Newcrest? Yeah, that's the plan. Um, it's for what we've been trying to rebuild in Newcrest, so. Well, I keep saying rebuild. We're not rebuilding Newcrest. We're just building Newcrest. <laughs> There's nothing to rebuild. Newcrest is empty. <laughs> There's no such rebuild of Newcrest when Newcrest, in fact, does not exist. <laughs> so we don't need to worry about that. Um, you're new to Twitch? Well, hey, welcome in. It's good to see you. Um, that might be cool. Newcrest is so new that it's completely empty. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, I know I want to do some platforms. I feel like platforms are always, uh, kind of a nice touch for this kind of thing. Um, and we'll do some, like... I don't know, various heights of roofs and stuff. Was Newcrest always empty? Yeah, Newcrest, they they uh, gave it to us empty. I feel like if you weren't around when The Sims 4 first came out, you might not remember it, obviously, um, but Newcrest was empty originally as well, and they gave it to us because we were, at the time, we only had like, you know, a couple base game worlds, um, and we were all like, oh, please, we need more lots for us to build on. So they were like, okay, here's a bunch of empty lots for you to build on. <laughs> Um, and it was actually, like, cool, um, at the time. It was kind of exciting that we, you know, got all these new lots. Um, but now it's like, oh man, it's, they're all empty. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was because we all so desperately wanted some more lots to build on, basically. What is it gonna be? It's gonna be a library. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it was pretty cool at the time, though. It was really exciting how we got, like, this- I mean, as you can imagine, it was a huge update to get a, a like, entire world added to the base game. Um, so that was, like, a pretty big deal. It was- it was fun when it happened. Um. Okay. Not so library, okay? <laughs> Welcome to the not so library challenge! Thank you, Crub. <laughs> Hey Ted, thank you for the gift of subs, and TH, and Soda Pop, uh, Lena, Mara, Suki, Danielle, Maz, Madflat, thank you all so much. Hey, building it again with each save? Yeah, that's the main, that's the main problem with Newcrest, right? Is like, oh, it's nice that we have some more lots, but you know what I don't like? Having to redo Newcrest each time I play this game. <laughs> each time I make a new save, we gotta redo the whole thing. Um, okay. I don't hate it. Um, I might extend it out a little bit more. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. It's also, honestly, not, like, that big. It's not small either, but it's not that big. So this is doable, furnishing-wise. Um, took you six months to rebuild Newcrest yourself. Yeah, it's probably gonna take me longer than that this time because we've gotten just so distracted by growing together. It's really, um, I, I've not been doing it for like, you know, the past couple months straight. <laughs> um, make it cute and cozy, it's much more library. It'll be kind of, it'll be kind of cozy in there. Um, 
Do we think the kits are worth the money debating if I invest in a couple kits instead of one pack, like, growing together? Ugh. I mean, the kits don't have- this is the problem, right? The kits don't have any gameplay. Um, so, like, if you were to spend, you know, $20- we're assuming you're buying an expansion pack on sale, 20 bucks. If you were to spend 20 bucks on an expansion pack, you're getting, like, a brand new world. You're getting all that cast stuff. You're getting all that gameplay. You're getting all the build stuff. Like, if you get so much in an expansion pack, you spend $20 on kits, and you get four little mini build sets. There's no gameplay. Um, so, for that reason, I- I- um... I don't know, it's hard for me to suggest that you- that you buy kits over an expansion pack. Obviously, it's- it's very, like, situation-dependent, and, like, you know what you like and everything, but, um, I think pretty much always the expansion pack is probably gonna be more worth the- the money. If that makes sense. Um, it also kind of depends on how you play, I guess, um, and- and, you know, which packs you're talking about getting, but I feel like usually almost always the expansion pack is more worth it. More bang for your buck, there you go. Yeah, Madison, there's gonna be a whole kid section in here. That's kind of like half the inspiration behind this, you know? Wanting to have some nice kid space. Um... Love well, the pastel pop kit though. I mean, there's a lot of kits that I like. Um, it's- I mean, I would never pick them over an expansion pack though. Just because I- I like the expansion packs so much more. Um... I- I feel like when we joke about how much we dislike these kits, it's not even necessarily the kits that are the problem. Like, the- the content that comes in them isn't bad. Like, I- I like the stuff in the kits. Um, I just don't really like the existence of these mini packs that they're trying to sell us. Um, so I, I feel like we should clarify that it's not really, like, we don't hate what comes in them. We just sort of hate that they exist at all. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, the- the kits themselves aren't terrible, so. Um, it's just I wish that they weren't- they didn't exist. I do like the stuff, so. Um, okay. I kind of want to do, like, another entrance on this side over here. Because- is this the front of the lot? Yeah. Oh no. Can I do it like this? Oh, if we do it like this, the lot looks so small, though. When it's spaced out in the whole place, it looks way bigger. Um... Okay. Gonna fill up the whole lot? Well, there's gonna be some park space behind it, and like, some outdoor stuff, you know? Um... So, it's not gonna be like... I hope that makes sense. Um, if kids went on sale for $250, it would be worth it to you. Yeah, I think it's just hard to swallow the, like, the cost of them, because they're so pricey. Um, it's kind of rough. Have to have outdoor space for the chess tables? There you go. <laughs> You're so right. We need to have the outdoor space for all of our chess tables. Um, we want it to look like the sides of the building are... Like, I would like it if this side of the building looked like it was- it could also potentially be a front of the building. You know? Um... Maybe if there was a tall tree here or something. With my building? We're gonna make a library! That's the plan. Aren't kids like five bucks? Yeah, they're five dollars each. So... Um, Gay only for the eight months, and Night Scout, and Rage, and Purple, and Lauren, and London, thank you all so much. Um, okay. Um, ooh, what if we had this, like, wrap around a little bit? This might be a terrible idea. I'm just, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. No, I don't like it. Oh, you loved it? Okay. I don't know. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be an ordeal today. We're gonna be here for a while. Don't say I didn't warn you. 
It's not gonna be a quick build. The back looks so flat. Well, that's because I hadn't done the back yet. <laughs> that's because I hadn't done it yet. <laughs> We're doing one side at a time, you know? Um, so... <laughs> Hey, fucking Sierra, Mandy, too, and Miss, thank you all for the subs. Um, okay. Um, maybe we could put, like, this just on the side. And there could be some pretty landscaping here. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, chat. Again, we're experimenting. We'll probably end up doing some deleting. We'll see. Um, no, I don't like that. What made you wanna make a library? Well, we're building new lots for all of Newcrest. Um, so that's kind of the inspiration here. We're doing a bunch of base game builds to fill up the whole of Newcrest. So there's no furniture inside. <laughs> uh, Simsy, I think you forgot to do the inside. <laughs> Okay, um, maybe if we made- no, I think I like the size of it, I don't know. Um... The question is, how do we want to... go about this... with the- oh my. I don't know. I feel like the inside's too crowded. You know what, maybe you're right. It is a little bit busy in there. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, okay, I like how it looks from this front angle. So that's good. The front is good. Now we gotta think about like the sides and stuff. Maybe I'll start breaking out some debug already. Um, so we can try and mimic some of it. Would it be down to a balcony? Maybe, I don't really, I don't like balconies that much. I feel like I, I did I even type live edit right? bb.show live edit objects. I feel like I don't like balconies that much. Um, I wanna put some bushes. Look, I'm not done. I'm just trying to think about what we could do to like start filling up some of this area and some big plants are a win. So. That kind of helps us visualize what this wall is going to look like, right? Yeah, that helps. Find it hard to decorate balconies? Yeah, I think that's part of it for me. I don't really know. I just don't know if I like balconies that much. Two words, rocket ships? Oh, wow. I mean... It's, it's certainly an idea. <laughs> It is certainly an idea. Um, we could probably do something similar to like this part. Woohoo bush somewhere. Well, we can't really do a woohoo bush because uh, this is base game, this build. And the woohoo bushes are not base game. There's not one that is base game. Um, so we have to keep that in mind. I know that's kind of uh, gonna throw people off when they're suggesting stuff that we should add, but. Yeah, we can't do anything like that, unfortunately. Um, base game rec center. Well, that's kind of the rec center lot type, honestly, is, is kind of like always how I envisioned my Sims libraries. Like whenever I build libraries for my Sims, I'm, I'm kind of always envisioning them to be kind of like what the rec center is now. Um, I've, I've sort of always had that thought process for the libraries, so. Uh, it's gonna have stuff like that, you know, like a kid's room and everything like that. Um, okay. I like that. Maybe I'll do this up to right here. We can do some landscaping there. Are rec centers base game? No, rec centers are uh, from the new pack. They're from uh, the growing together pack. Obviously, I mean, anybody can build something that kind of pretends to be a rec center, but the rec center functionality came with growing together. Um, okay. I feel like this part of the lot needs to be 
up. Maybe I don't like this going all the way around anymore. Maybe it needs to go further around. I mean, that takes up a lot of space, but... No, I don't like that with the roof. I don't think that looks good on the roof. Maybe she could be flat. Um, do you know what we could do? What if we had the main part of the roof be a little bit taller? That might help. What world is this? It's just Newcrest. We're just building a, a base game library in Newcrest. Um, okay. That adds something, I think. How much in your crest is filled right now? We haven't done that much of it. Uh, we are, we're still working on it. We are making slow but sure progress. <laughs> uh, we haven't worked on it in a couple weeks, obviously, because they're growing together, so. I don't know if I like that from the front anymore, but. It's okay. How many stories do you think it's gonna be? It's only two, Marisa. Um, only two. It's not that small, but you know. Maybe skylights? Yeah, that's what I was gonna put up here. I was thinking about trying to make, it's why it helps that this is a little bit bigger now. Um, cause we can fit like a, some sort of skylight in this area. And then, um, the roof kind of hides the whole thing. No, 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 not that, not that. But like, wouldn't that kind of thing be cool? I don't know. It helps. So. Okay. I'll do that. I'll just put this on the inside. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Um. Okay. Can flat roofs be made into glass? No, you can't make the whole thing glass. Um, but you can kind of do some fake like what I just did there where I hid the um, the like glass part in it, you know? Um, I am not obsessed with how the back of this looks. Maybe if there was like a sign there, I guess. I don't know. Still doing a pool for Newcrest? Yeah, obviously. Um, we're gonna do a, a nice pool for Newcrest. That's, that's a huge part of our plans. <laughs> um, we are gonna do a lot of lots in Newcrest, so. <laughs> Uh, one of them will be a pool for sure. Um, let's look through all of Debug again and see if we can find any interesting signs. Um, cow plant? No. <laughs> Pools are base game, yeah, the pool lot type is base game. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe me, you can check. <laughs> but the pool lot type is indeed base game. Debug is so rough, isn't it? There's a dance floor that's glass, right? Yeah, not from not from the base game though, Amy. There's a few cool um, glass things, like the glass dance floor, there's a glass uh, floor piece just in general, but those are from Get Together and Island Living. Um, so they are not in the base game, so we can't use those for this purpose. Interesting. Oh, this could be cool. Should we try and give ourselves a couple like little items that we think we might want to use um, on the outside of this? Cause there's some fun options. Even like these have some cool banners and stuff. So that might like might look kind of interesting. We can use that to like, I don't know, add to it, I guess. Maybe I'll give myself a couple of them. Um, what else? Not really library vibes, but could work for a bar or something. <laughs> I don't know. A parking lot? I don't think I'm gonna do a parking lot. I think I'm gonna focus more on, uh, like, usable space for your sims than, like, parking type of space. Um, just for, like, gameplay ease. 
Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have any good signs from debug. So that leaves us with just a couple of options. <laughs> the same stuff that we always end up using for these lots, because there's only a couple in the base game. Um, we can try and make it work though. It'll be fine. It will be fine. We can do this sign over here. Ooh, I like that. I will delete this. That looks pretty nice to be honest. Can I play Fall Guys someday? We play Fall Guys sometimes, friend. Um, I don't have any plans to do this week, but we will again. I'm never I'm not gonna like never play again, you know? <laughs> Is that the front door? This will be a door, and this will be a door. There's gonna be two doors here. There's probably gonna be a back door actually also. There's gonna be three doors. Um, we'll have one over here as well. In this area. I don't know if I like the back or not. So, but there'll be like a door there, door here, door there. I think that makes sense in real life. It would probably have some things like that. Um, do we wanna? I might not even make this whole thing landscaped. This is the thing, I might just have some grass, but we can like, do the debug lights actually work? Like, do they light up? Um, no. They look cool though. That's all that matters. Building for gameplay? No, we're building this for gameplay for sure, Mackenzie. We're not like just gonna build this because it looks cool. The, the whole point of this is to make a cool base game build that you guys can use in your games, so. Um, okay. I think I would like to do some big windows. Oh no. I forgot I did that horrible platform, maybe not. There's an exit sign from get to work in the, in the wall decorations. Yeah, so Frankie, I know. Um, but we're doing just base game with this, which is why these debug ones are what we're gonna use, because there's a debug version in the base game, the real ones in Get to Work. Um, we don't have Get to Work installed right now because we're making just a base game version of this lot. Um, so that's why I'm using those, because it's a base game lot. Um, Literally the title of the stream. No, it's okay. People always, uh, they always forget when we're doing these builds. And then they're like, um, actually? <laughs> and then I get to be like, well, no. We can't use that here. It won't work for this purpose. Maybe a different time. <laughs> um, okay. I think that this is coming along. Hey, User Lame and Nicole and Quinn and Snarty and Bazaar and Mari. Uh, Cora, Wesley, Rachel, Annie, Scan. Thank you all for the subs and bits and stuff. I really appreciate that. Um, Okay. It is growing on me. Let's look through some of the windows. I feel like I want to do, um, I don't know. That might be okay, because this could be, like down here, these could be some bathrooms, probably. And that would be nice, because they're like right by the front door. And there's no windows. Um, oh, I should save. Good call. <laughs> Good idea. Hey, Holly, thank you for the subs. Um, like those tiny windows? Yeah, I kind of like them too. They're kind of fun. What color I'm gonna choose for the inside? No, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. Um, I don't really know what I'm going for with this yet. To be completely honest with you. Um... What if we had some windows like this? Is that like totally random on the inside? Yeah, maybe a little, but it's kind of cool. Is this next to the gym? Yeah, it's next to the bar and gym that we built, yeah. Um, it is one of our new Crest builds, yes. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. Um, is there a way to get more books in the libraries? Do you mean like in-game? Like to have more, uh, books in game that are that you can use 
for your sims to read? Because I'm not really sure about that. I don't know if I have an answer to that question. That could be nice. Yeah, like skill books. I'm not sure if you can like increase the number that are in the libraries or not. Um, I don't know. Okay, I like that for the bathrooms. Your sims can write their own books. They don't mean that. They mean, I think like the, when your sim clicks on the bookshelf, they want to have like more varieties of books in those library bookshelves. Um, not the ones that just are there by default. So they don't mean like CC books or like books that you've written. They mean like just books that are in game that aren't in the library. I think. <laughs> um, I think that's what they're talking about though. Okay. What if we made... Um, we need a staircase somewhere. So, what if it was like somewhere over here? That I don't like. Oh, it could be over here. That could work. And then we could close this off on purpose. Maybe I can make this section into like where the um, kids' space is. And then we can kind of like, question as who goes to the library, what in the Sims? I use libraries in the Sims all the time. When my Sims don't have a lot of money um, and I'm, I need like a computer and stuff, I, I use the Sims library so often. Do you not use them that much? Cause this is like one of my probably most frequently used lot types in this game. Um, and obviously in real life libraries do so much good, so. Hey Eloise, K Rock, K T Adora, thank you for the subs. I never use museums. Oh my god, yeah, I never bring my Sims to museums. That's like one of my least used things probably. Um I would like to Do you know what? What if this was like Can I extend this out one more? Can't intersect fences, oh my god. I'm wondering, this way, we could maybe open up a lot of this space to the downstairs. And that might be kind of cool. So, I like that idea. Right? Kind of fun, kind of interesting. It's nice and open as well, which is cool. Um, and then it gives us like some more room. We could probably put another bathroom, or we could even do two more bathrooms up here. We could do them the same that we did downstairs. Oh, that's too big. But it might be nice to have like extra bathrooms. And that uh, breaks up some of the space too. So we have some separate areas. If there's one place you never go in the Sims is museums. Yeah, I, I really don't use museums that much. I've had fun building museums in the past, but when I've used museums in this game, it's usually like um, I'm trying to build what is essentially a rec center. And now we have rec centers for real. I don't really feel like I need a museum. Because I, I used to use the museum and then try and build like a science center. Um, but we don't really need to do that anymore, so. Miss the shell tours. Oh, we did them yesterday, Fallery. I'm so sorry if you weren't here. Um, okay. Um, I'm trying to decide how I wanna do this. Study room slash teen hangout. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking for sure. Um, we'll have like a, I mean, the whole place is gonna be a study room, so. Um, We'll definitely do some study space, but the teen hangout idea is kind of interesting. I hadn't really thought about that. Um, oh, we could do, how about the entrance to this could be over here. Um, 
That might be better, because then I can have it open like that. This is going to be the kids' area. Um, what is being built? It's going to be a, a base game library. Um, okay. So we have the whole kids' section. It's big, which will be really good. Um, and then... I don't know. We have the bathrooms. I guess if we really wanted to, we could probably close this off a little. And this could become like a, who knows? Like the study rooms that you guys are talking about wanting? A small cafe or snack booth? I don't know how easily we can do that with just the base game, annoyingly because I don't really want to put um, like a bar in here. And that's kind of the only other way that I can think of doing that. Um, it would be kind of cool, but I don't know if we'd be able to put a cafe cafe. Does that make sense? Um, we don't have vending machines in the base game either. So these are all things that are fun ideas, but they don't really uh, work with the fact that we're doing this all base game, annoyingly. Um, yeah, this is gonna be the kids' room over here. The kids' room is like the one of the main uh, plans that we have, guys, so don't worry, we won't forget about that. There's definitely gonna be a kids' space. Um, okay. I think that we need to figure out where the windows are gonna go on this section. And this silly little uh, half wall part is too tall. Um, okay. How about a fridge and a coffee maker? Well, we usually put that sort of thing in here, yeah. Um, that That's kind of the, uh, the usual plan with a build like this. Let's do a little bit smaller and see how that goes. Maybe carpet? I don't know if I want to do like the car- I think the carpet swatches in this game are kind of ugly. So I don't know if I can bring myself to do the carpet. <laughs> I don't- I don't know if I can do it, chat. Um, I- it, Um... Okay. Let's do the bathrooms. I don't really know what tile I want to do. <laughs> no, that's ugly. I won't do that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Something like this is probably kind of realistic, to be honest. Um, your library has a little kid door? Oh, that's cute. What a, what a fun concept that they have. Um, oh, maybe I could open this up. Maybe that would be better. I was kind of using some wood because we have this sign. I'm wondering if we could use that sign as kind of an inspiration here. Lots of libraries have carpet. Obviously in real life, yeah, I know. Um, but uh, we're talking about The Sims and I don't really like The Sims carpet. So I, I probably won't do that. <laughs> Hope you understand. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm more concerned about, like, how it's looking at The Sims, right? Um, okay. I think... Would I upload Lilith and Barb to the gallery before you swap saves? Friend, we're not gonna swap saves literally anytime soon. I feel like people have misunderstood me. We have a long time until we stop playing in the Legacy Challenge save. <laughs> uh, that's not even anytime soon gonna happen. Um, so you don't need to worry about that, okay? Um, maybe I can try and have like a, I don't know, make a nook for us or something. What are the bookshelves you have to use for wood matching and stuff? Oh, bestie, they're probably not gonna match. I don't know what to tell you. Um, maybe like this one? But, you know, wood matching is a really strong word that you're using. It's probably not gonna... 
It's just probably not gonna. Um. Okay. I like some bookshelves. Could be fun to do some one by one pillars to divide the space. That's kind of what I was thinking, Dika. Um, I'm trying to figure out like where the entrance is gonna be. Cause I'm thinking that I might do like a, hold on. I'm thinking that I might do like a counter kind of in this area. Um, maybe I'll do like, what am I, hold on. There, something like that, I don't know. Maybe not. Um, but I'm thinking I'd like to have a little counter, somewhat sort of space here. Um, and then this could be like, you know, the desk. And then your sims can come this way or they can come this way. And then there's like a little bit of a separation in the entrance, which I think is kind of good. Yeah, I don't like that one. I like this better. That could be kind of good. I like this plan. It's kind of interesting. And then your sim will sit there. Could use the host station item. So again, it's base game only. Um, so a lot of the ideas that we have, like about things that come from other packs, um, it's, uh, it's only base game. So we can't really use a lot of that stuff that we're kind of thinking of. Um, that, that we might think would be a good idea. Unfortunately, we don't have access to with this one because we're trying to make it use just the base game so that everybody can download it. Um, it'll still be good. It will still be good, don't worry. Okay, I love these bookshelves. I honestly like them so much. I think they're so cool. <laughs> No, the library card's not base game either, unfortunately. Again, these are all really fun ideas, but they're not, um, they're not base game. That thing you're thinking of is from Get to Work. Okay, we're not gonna use this color of these. Absolutely not gonna use this color of these. I'm not really sure what the color scheme I'm going for is gonna be, we'll see. Um. I want to put this on the end. I'm not sure if that's too big or not. I do kind of like the light blue though, because there's a lot of blue in these. So, Taylor concert in just a few days. I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so, so, so excited. Okay, maybe we could have like a little um, baby gate section in the kids room. Baby gates are base game. And that might be kind of cool. Maybe it could be smaller than that. Um, that would be nice. And then we could have like some kids desks and some play areas and stuff. I don't know. You can leave your toddler in there. I don't know. I don't know. Infants are monsters, why bring them outside? Oh wow, okay. Strong opinions here from chat about the infants. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, huh? Um, okay. This'll be cute. Have fun at the concert. I am so excited. Like, this is gonna be the greatest day of my life and I'm not even exaggerating. I am so excited. Um, I can't get it in the right place. There you go. Perfect. Then we need a bunch of desks, a bunch of desk chairs. Um, should we do like these kind of fancy ones or no? Oh, they don't come in the right colors at all. So we're back to the drawing board with uh, the base game desks. Why does this not come in any reasonable colors? I 
I, can you tell her I am also single? Yes, if I'll let her know. I'll let her know for you. <laughs> yeah, why do they still only have three swatches? They did like some base game swatch updates. We got more on this. The fancier desks? Which ones? I'm not gonna do like fancy desks. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to using these. We could do these in the blue. That could be kind of cool. Maybe we could try this. And we can try and put like four of them. That might be kind of interesting. Let me get some more up against the wall over there. I don't know. It could work. It could work. We can do some like rolly chairs or something. You're waiting for the blue to come out? Okay, listen. I know it's a meme, <laughs> but it hurts my feelings. <laughs> it's just a nice swatch. It's just a nice swatch, okay? That's all. Um, it also matches the bookcases. Use half walls in between them. I guess we could do that. Um, if we did half walls in between them, we have to do them like placed differently. I don't always like putting half walls in the middle of buildings because I feel like the lighting gets kind of weird on them. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I... Oh, you do like that? I don't think I do. Apples make them feel like cubicles. I mean, people are doing it because they want to have, um, people are like wanting this for privacy, right? That's why chat is suggesting it, but. Um, I don't know. It might be kind of cool to try. Shorter? Um, at that point, what's the point though? Like you guys are wanting me to do this because you want privacy in between the desks, right? Realistically, what difference does it being shorter make? Yeah, I don't really like the top of these half walls either. I guess it's just like the texture on all the half wall tops that I'm not obsessed with. That's like wood. I think the Sims will be okay without privacy. Yeah, I, I think the Sims will probably be able to handle it as well. Um, we can like let it sit there and think about it though. It wouldn't hurt for us to like try and uh, keep it in our thoughts. It's worth considering. Um, will they put plates on there? I mean, <laughs> not if we don't give them the option to have plates. That's so much of the blue now. Oh no. Oh no. Could put bookshelves in between them? Like, in between the desks? I don't know. I feel like we want to make sure the bookshelves are completely accessible by everybody. Big dinner table instead of desks. I mean, there's a lot of tables that could work that we could find the right wooden color for. Um, that's that's always an option, right? But we just weren't sure. Even these don't really... <sighs> so many different shades of wood. See, I don't know if I like... I don't know. I don't know. You like that blue color? Yeah, I like the blue as an accent color too, but I feel like we can't use the desks and the chairs. You loved the blue tables. Okay, I'm getting so many really conflicting opinions here. <laughs> what if we did white tables? I don't think I like that. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna be here all day. All day. I do like these little chairs. 
That might be kind of fun. I don't like how they're wood though. I'm not using glass. That takes us back to the original desk. <laughs> um, these are quite fancy. But they probably wouldn't have drawers in like a library table, you know? We could do this. I did like this one, but it doesn't come in the right wood swatches. I could always do white though. Keep the blue in the tables and white in the chairs. Oh my God. So many conflicting things. Um, the desk through from the left. This one is interesting, but it, it has the same drawer problem. I don't know, and will the shell challenge video be out? Do you know what, annoyingly, because the Sims team decided to uh, drop a roadmap today, I had to push my whole upload schedule. Um, I was gonna post it on Saturday, but now um, I've shifted everything by a day and I already have a video for Sunday that um, I don't wanna like move. So I might do the shell challenge tour video next week instead. Um, you can blame the roadmap <laughs> that came out today. <laughs> uh, the roadmap is like the Sims team's plans for what they're gonna release for the next uh, couple of months. So. Um, I'll probably switch these out too then. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, seriously, blame the kids. Um, okay. I don't know. Didn't know there was a roadmap. Yeah, they only posted it a couple hours ago, so it's easy that you might have missed it, but. How many days ahead do you pre-record usually? I'm usually a couple days ahead, Sheepy, but, um, cause I'm going out of town this weekend for the Taylor Swift concert. Um, I'm pre-recorded all the way through the whole weekend. So, normally I wouldn't be like pre-recorded today all the way through Sunday, but um, today I am. <laughs> uh, I did a lot of recording over the past few days so that um, I don't have to worry about it when I'm away, so. Um, okay, I'm, I'm liking this. I don't think I, you know what? I don't think I like these desks here. Maybe I'll do bookshelves again. Bookshelves are better. That's a lot of books too, which is kind of fun. So this is kind of like the computer space. And then we can do like pure study tables in here. This can be like, picture it like a meeting room or something. Like your Sims could do their, their homework or whatever. If they've got a group project, they can use this room to work together. And we can put all these desks together. That might be kind of good. Kind of like a meeting room. Yeah, but we can just do the four desks and you can study, do your homework and stuff. Maybe we could put like a laptop on the desk because that sort of gets those vibes across. Windows from the stairs to the meeting room. Ooh, I hadn't really thought about that. I don't usually do indoor windows. That might be kind of cool though, wouldn't it? It's kind of interesting. I kind of like that. Okay. And then we can get, I don't know, some sort of art or something. <laughs> Our rooms all have indoor windows. Yeah, I've seen a lot of that like in my university library had a lot of stuff like that. So that's cute. We have the kids room and then we'll have to get like some chess tables. Um, we have to think this through. We could always have like one chess table indoors and then the rest of them mostly outdoors. You know, do I record a video every day? Well, I post a video every day, Barry. I don't record every day though. Some days I'll record like two videos. 
Um, cause I don't usually record on Sundays, for example, cause I take Sundays off completely. I don't stream or, um, record on it. So I usually record like a video for Sunday on a different day, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Um, all right. I'm kind of liking the vibes in here. Let's make sure we get these bathrooms done. Cause this is the boring part. How many chest tables do you need? I think you only need the one chest table. We'll put some outside though. Um, never seen a dedicated chest table like that anywhere. I've seen, um, in parks before, I've seen chess tables that they don't have the chess pieces, but it's like a table that has like the squares on it, um, like in the table. So I've seen that before and people would bring their own pieces. Um, but chess tables are kind of useful for, I guess, Sims purposes. What color do you want to do for these? Honestly, some simple wallpaper like this might be okay. What size is this lot? Oh, it's 40 by 30. We haven't filled in the whole thing yet. That seems kind of nice and simple though. You've got one library you work at? Oh, that's cool. That's really nice. Um, okay. All these sinks seem very fancy. Very, very, very fancy. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Candy and Poodles and Free and Badfoot, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, that's easily accessible. The bathroom looks like a cell. Really? Okay, that's less than ideal. Um, okay. Mm, I don't know. Maybe this one? That's simple enough. These bathrooms are gonna be very dare I say, bland. Oh, we could do the blue mirrors. But it's only like a little public bathroom in a base game community lot, so it doesn't need to be fancy. <laughs> um, okay. That seems nice. It looks cute enough. Um, I might do the upstairs ones a little bit differently. Yeah, the bathroom's so white. Ah, okay. Clearly you've got a big problem with it. Do you want to talk it out? <laughs> Would it help for you to, to share how you're feeling? Let us know. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna do windows in front of the downstairs one, by the way, just in front of the upstairs one. Or those words of excitement. I don't know, people seem to really dislike the white bathroom. I don't think it's that deep. Um, okay. Let's see. I wanna get these trash cans again too. Maybe do a black mirror for contrast. I'm not really looking to have contrast. I'm I'm just looking to have a generic little public bathroom. Um, they're nice, they're clean. They work well. I think this will be okay. Um, I love this item. I think it's so good. Love, love, love this kind of thing. Okay, I'll do one of those there. I might put another one. Ooh, I don't know where. Maybe I could put it over here. That would probably work. Okay. It's a tragic clown base game. Indeed, the tragic clown is base game. <laughs> hey, Giggle, Lola, Marine, and Cassie. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, we can maybe use it in the kids space. How about that? That sounds terrifying. The kids don't deserve that. Um, 
Okay, I'm liking how this is laid out though. Maybe we could try and do, honestly, we could probably try and do the same thing again down here. We'll see how we can space it out. Um, oh, this is annoying. The space of it is not good. Is this Windenburg? No, this is in Newcrest. We're trying to build uh, a bunch of base game lots to fill up all of Newcrest. So this is not Windenburg, it's Newcrest. Yeah, we can't put these dumb things there. It doesn't work. The dividers. Maybe lights next to the mirror. We can come back to it. I'm not trying to work on the bathrooms too long right now. I think it's boring, so <laughs> I'd rather work more on the other stuff. Um, okay. Do we have cool dividers in the base game? I don't know. I wouldn't even know where to look for them. Let me look at, let me search up divider. We have this kind of thing, but these are like, they're not in between the desk type of dividers. So. Won't really work for this. Yeah, they're all bendy. Which is kind of annoying. Um. What if there was like, hold on. Here's an idea. What if we did like a, no. Desks by the windows? These will still function. Um, trust me, I've done it many times. Your sims get in from the side. That might be kind of cool. And then we could have some couches in the middle. Um, or like, at the very least, a couple chairs and a couch or something. Um, what columns are those? Oh, these are just the base game, what are they called? Soldad Square column. Um, okay, we could probably do a rug. Oh, we can use the cute kids rugs in there. Um, hate that. I don't know if I want to do a rug. Maybe I could do like a custom. Floor. I don't know. It might not be good. It might not be good. Maybe I'll do the square one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What about you? Oh, that could work. I can also scoot it over just a tiny bit. And then we could put a coffee table in the middle. There can be like a little tiny table in the middle of these. I don't know if I like that or not. I do like the, I do like the look of that table though. Probably be able to put another one there. That's kind of nice. Right? I don't think I like this rug. Struggling with the rug. That side table is new. It came uh, in the infant update, believe it or not. I know you might be like, what, why? <laughs> uh, but that side table came out in the infant update. I think it's supposed to be like, I'm, I'm picturing it as being like a lower side table because it could work as a nightstand next to the infant, or the toddler beds and stuff. Because it's lower like the toddler beds are. That's the ideal girl bossing, yeah, is to make it into a save file like that, basically. That's kind of what we're going for with this. Um, okay. Maybe I could put another one. Yeah, and it works well for the community lots too, because there's not drawers in it, like a lot of the other side tables have. Because like, realistically, there probably wouldn't be like drawers in these side tables, you know? Um. I like that, that seems nice. 
Um, okay. Could also do chairs back to back. I mean, we could do something like that if we wanted to. We could have these be like, do you know what would be interesting? And this might be an absolutely terrible idea, so hold on. But it might also be kind of cool if there was like a fancy thing. I don't know what I would put there. Fountain for the white noise. Plants. Yeah, but think base game plants. Which ones would... Realistically, which ones would work? Um... Statues? I don't know. That's an idea. Honestly, you could just leave it blank. I guess that's also an idea. I don't know. We've got some interesting... I don't know what color we'd use, but we've got some interesting stuff that could go there. That's kind of cool. It does help separate the space a little bit. No, there's not a big aquarium in the base game. The fish tanks that you're thinking about are actually from Spa Day. Um, the only fish tanks that we have in the base game are that tiny little fish bowl. <laughs> um, so that doesn't really work. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, that weird square modern statue. Yeah, there are a couple statue objects, but even then, I don't know if it would work on this because the the half wall is like so big. Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. That's interesting. This is what you're talking about. It is cool. We could always put that somewhere. Maybe that could go by the front door or the side door. Maybe it could go by the side door. <laughs> That's interesting. One of the plants you have outside is landscaping. Doesn't this look- yeah, it looks terrible inside. See the bizarre lighting? Water feature would look cool. You mean like to do a- some sort of like fountain? Because we have a roof on top of this, so we can't do a fountain. It would have to be a pool. Um, that's a fountain still. Uh, it would have to be a pool. And... Ugh. It's a little dramatic, to be honest. Honestly, we could, like... Well, what if we just did a wall? Instead of, like, a whole platform, what if there was just a wall? And we decorated it accordingly. That's centered that way. Indoor garden with windows. That was my initial thought, Dika, was to put plants and then have windows into it. I'd have to put, um... That was my initial thought, though, was to have the windows into it. But I always feel like I want to do this, and then I do it, and I hate the lighting. Like, it always seems like a better idea in theory than it is in practice, because I never like how the lighting looks in it. You know what I mean? make it a hole it opens to the outside but like all the way upstairs we have to redo the upstairs a little bit doesn't really fit that kind of thing um possible put a light inside it oh no it's just the indoor windows that kind of mess with it bigger windows maybe well it can't be because it's three wide so it would be like I'll just make it into a planter. I think that, um, I just don't know what plants I would put on it. Like, with it being just a little platform like this, you guys say like, I'll just make it into a planter. But it has to be like, logical plants, you know? And so many of them look absolutely horrible inside. So that's kind of the other like, concern, right? Is how some of these things look horrendous when you put them indoors. Yeah, if we had the plant kit thingy, it would be so good. Um, but we do not have the plant kit thingy. I mean, this is always an option, but even that looks so ugly inside. Is 
Is there a debug version of this? Yeah, they get so dark when you do it like that. Can you lower it onto the platform? Can I make it clip into the platform? You want me to have that thing like floating outside of the platform? The lighting is gonna be completely broken if you do that. Um, I know you guys basically want me to make this like a straight up planter, which I'm not really sure I want to do. Um, I don't really know if I like that idea or not. It's definitely an idea, but oh my God, don't do that. I don't know if I like it. You like the wall TBH? No, we can't do an aquarium. We don't have an aquarium in the base game. Can't do an aquarium. It would be fun, but there's no uh, base game aquariums. So yeah, I think it's a fun idea, but I don't really think that it's working for this. Um, I, I feel like I don't really want it to be a planter box. Like that's not really the, the vibe that I was going for. I don't really know what vibe I was going for, but I don't think I'm liking it that much doesn't have to have anything in between it. They can just be like this. And that would be fine too. Like if we just had the tables together. Can make it tile nuts and fountain sprinklers on it. I don't know if I wanna put a fountain indoors. I feel like it doesn't really fit the vibes of the building. Half wall? I mean, we, we tried it with the wall before and then I suggested the half wall idea, but it didn't sound like people liked it. It's okay. It's not bad. Water and books may not be the best combination. You know what? You're so right. Water and books are definitely not the best combination. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do that. Um, seems like a not ideal concept, huh? A little shorter wall? Shorter half wall. I think that's okay. It does help, it separates the room, it looks nice. I think I like this layout of the place. Seems pretty good to me. All right, let's look through some of the posters and stuff. Um, that's true, there is a, a debug uh, live edit object thing that we could use. I don't know. I guess it just depends if we, how we feel about it all. Um, I do love these. I think those are great for this. Um, maybe, I guess there's not a lot of wall space, huh? Like the curved front desk bit. Oh, thanks, I like it too. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I'm, I'm kind of liking this layout, so. All right, let's think about the kids area a little bit more. And then we can come back to all of this. I love this dinosaur rug. I think that is so adorable. Okay, so the kids are gonna need some desks and stuff too. Cause the kids can do their homework on these. That rug's one of your favorites. It's like my favorite thing in the game now. I'm so glad they made this. I think it's so cute. Um, okay, I wanted to do a bunch of the little kids items though, cause we have some really cute stuff. Oh, this can go in the baby section. There you go. Um, maybe we could get a dollhouse. This is gonna be like baby and toddler section, I think, essentially. Um, kids items, I wanna use this. I'd like to use a couple of these drawing tables. Can the dino blarfy go in there? Oh yeah, definitely. There will absolutely be some dino blarfy. I think I might try and put bookshelves all along this back wall. Should I use, or should we try and put like, 
I don't know, I guess I'm picturing this whole thing as being the kids section, so I kind of want to have like some bookshelves in here. Even if these don't look very much like kids bookshelves, we can pretend they have kids books on them. And this is where like all the kids books would be in the library. I think I like how that fits anyway. And then I can put this over here. Oh, I think that's actually pretty good. And we can have a lot of the toys, like we can, most of the stuff that's out here is like desks, this thing, these. We can put some little like spots for the kids to sit and read. And then we can have all the toys in this section. You know? They're very tall for children. Well, we wanted them to match. There's no, there's not really any short bookshelves that tile. Obviously we don't want to like, you know. You don't like the dollhouse. Th well, I haven't put it anywhere yet, Small Might. I just put it in this area because I'm going to put a bunch of toys here. Should I make it clip just to bother you more before I finish it? <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> We're still working on it, okay? Um, we're still working on it. We're just kind of putting items down so that we remember where they're gonna, what we're gonna use. Yeah, guys, I don't think there's a better bookshelf that we can do a whole wall of. We have some kids' bookshelves, but this looks very much like it's, it's too small. I want to do a lot of shelves. Could do the pointed shelves. I don't really want to do this one. This does not seem like it. I don't know. This doesn't seem like it would fit either. This one looks like a bookshelf that belongs in a library. Because it's so modular like that. I think that we're reading into it too much by like thinking about, oh, the kids can't reach the top shelf. It... The kids don't reach anything in The Sims. <laughs> um, you know, can you do wall shelves and add book clutter? I think that that's really complicated. It has teen books at the top. And they have parents. There's a librarian. It's fine. It's fine. Um, there will be an adult in here that can help the kids reach the bookshelves. I swear. Use the same bookshelf, but in a different color to differentiate. Well, I think that we don't... Some I saw some folks saying that, but I don't know if it needs a different color to differentiate, because I feel like the different space sort of differentiates it enough, you know? Like, it's in a completely different section of the library. There's all this kid stuff in here. Like, to me, the bookshelves in this room are very obviously, like, different than the ones out there, you know, because they're in the kids' room. I think it'd be weird, I don't know, I don't think we need to have a different colored shelf. I feel like it's probably okay like this. Um, no, I think I'll use the same thing twice. Your library had parenting books at the top shelves of the kids section. There you go. <laughs> See, in real life, their library had parenting books on the top shelves. Perfect. Maybe you could do another little tiny bookshelf over here just for fun though. Because I do like that. Um, can always build a fake basement and lift taller shelf up until it's better height for kids? Well, people always suggest to do this. Let me show you what that person is talking about. I feel like when people are suggesting this, I don't think they're really thinking about like the functionality of it or the fact that it would be clipping weird. Like, if we, they're saying to raise this up so it's like a better height for the kids. I don't think that's worth it. Like, I think that this is a non-issue. The height thing is like an issue with chat, but not with me. I don't care. And then it would be clipping, your sims couldn't use it. Like, it's a fun idea for visual purposes, but I think for like gameplay reasons, it makes more sense to just have it be a functional bookshelf, you know? Um, will I do a Twitch funny moments video again? Like a highlight reel of clips? Of course, Jonathan. Of course. Um, we don't do them all the time. They're usually like special occasions. Um, like I call it like a best of Simsy and I did it for the year, you know, that kind of thing. Um, hey, sweet, and Evelina and Waffles and Sky, thank you for the subs. Can you size them down? Guys, is it really that big of a deal that we need to have them be like that much shorter? 
I didn't realize that you cared this much. I mean, like, yeah, you could size them down, I guess. But... I, I didn't know that it was, like, this much of an issue, I guess. Certainly is not a big deal at all. I don't know. It seems like it is, because everybody's talking about it. Um, I mean, we can try and do it size down if it really bothers you, like, that much. Um, I just didn't think it was a problem. I guess we could put some, like, clutter on top if we do it size down, so that might be kind of fun. I don't know. Everybody's got really strong bookshelf opinions. Um... Yeah, it'll, it's not- it won't affect the animation for it, um... But, I mean... The kids' animation won't be affected no matter how tall the bookshelf is, so... Um, I think they're cute. I don't know. It's not a problem. If it bothers you that much, we can change it. It's okay. It's worth it. And we can do some cute decor on top of them. Oh, good. It floats. <laughs> cool. That's so exciting. I don't think that the base game has... Um, a big enough shelf that any of these things will slot onto. Oh... Boring. That stinks. We can do some fun posters. I don't know. It'll be cute. Yeah, the idea of displays on the top is kind of fun, so... This is good. We'll have to get some more toys, too. I want to use this in here and everything. Um... Do I use the red shelf when building? No, I usually just use the dream home decorator shelves. <laughs> I only have the base game installed right now, so I can't, um, I can't do that the way I normally would, but we can get the dream home decorator shelf and do it later. Um, I just disabled the other packs, uh, so that way we wouldn't have to worry about using them by accident or anything. Um, that's cute. Kids drawings? Oh, we can try and get some kids drawings here for that. That could be kind of fun. Um, will the giant llama be in here? You know, I had not really considered that. Um, <laughs> that wasn't really uh, the plan, but I don't know. I like this. This is kind of cute. Most of these posters, there's not really that many. Oh, I guess this one could work too. And then if we could find one more poster, that might seem like it could. Do you like that with the posters on the wall or is it weird? Maybe instead of these posters, we could use the little posters elsewhere. And maybe instead of that, we could do like these ones. Because these are like sort of uniform and these are kind of fun like kids poster vibes as well. So this might also work. This might be better even to be honest. So I'll place them so carefully. That's kind of cute, right? Are those debug? Yeah, these were um, a part of this like positivity challenge thing that they did. I don't know. It was a whole thing. They've done a few like weird limited time events, but they're in debug, so. Remind you of motivational posters? Yeah, they kind of have that vibe, don't they? they? They do sort of feel like motivational posters. Um, I think it's really good for this purpose, like, for the library it works really well, so. Um, can I get a couple more little chairs in the toddler section? Um. I don't know if I like these or not. I was just trying to think, like, it might be kind of cute if we had some books 
or like a place to read or something over here, but I don't know if I like them. Hey, Abby, thanks for the raid. Welcome in. Um, good to see you. Yeah, it was a whole challenge with Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah. Uh, they had her, Millie Bobby Brown was like a Sims ambassador or something. So they had her doing a Sims challenge. The bear chairs, perhaps? Should we use the bear chairs again? I mean, I'm open to it. We can use some different colors, so. Anyway, hi Abby, we're building, um, we're working on building like a super cute little library uh, using just the base game. Cause we're trying to fill up all of Newcrest basically. Um, so I'm, I'm making this library with the intention of uh, having it take up some space in Newcrest. <laughs> um, it's been kind of fun. So I hope you had a good stream. Welcome in, it's good to see you. Oh, I think that those bear chairs work. That's okay. That's okay. Cool. Can't go wrong with bear chairs. Exactly. <laughs> um, and Kayla, or Catla, sorry, and Chloe. I said Kayla, basically, because it's my name. <laughs> it's quite so sweet. I'm Alana, thank you for the subs. Um, I like that. One of those infant rugs by the dollhouse? Yeah, I think I'll put one of those in here. Um, I think I'll also try and get, like... Should I put it just, like, near the dollhouse or what? There's some kind of cute options. I'm gonna get a toy box, too. Um... I don't know. The little base game one probably works best. And then we can just put some toys, like, kind of out front of it. Right? Huh. Infant playmat? Oh, that's not base game. The infant playmat is from Growing Together, unfortunately. Maybe the height chart on the wall? Oh, that could be kind of cute. We could use that over here. Um, oh, I used the same chair twice. You can tell I like this one the best. I'll use the panda one. Or we could use the panda one here and the pink one in there. Some of these are too bright for me. Oh, we could do all of the bears and then over here we can have the more silly ones. There's an infant rug that is base game. This is just a little tiny rug, yeah. The play mat that you guys are thinking of, I have a CC one, but this one is not, that's not base game obviously, but a CC. Um, but you guys are thinking about the um, infant play mat from Growing Together. The orange one is cute in the toddler area. I hate that color. I can't bring myself to use it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, can, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can, uh, if I can do it, chat. I really don't like that color. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of scary. Um. Oh, I have to alt place them. Should we use these sized up? They're kind of cute sized up. What do you guys think about that? Maybe I'll, hold on, swap these out. I think these are kind of cute. And I like how there's kind of a play area and then this whole space is more like learning focused. I don't know. Okay, and then we have some little posters that we can stick on this wall over here. Very cute. Um, what else do we want to get? Maybe we could try and get some just little clutter like this. Maybe we can put a backpack. Like we can pretend a kid is in here doing some studying or something. Should give them computers. Oh, in this room. I was picturing these being like homework tables and not so much like computer tables. We could do one computer. 
I don't know. Maybe dino decals? There's a bunch of cute decals, but I'm not sure if I wanna, if I wanna use them in here. We can do a little decal behind the kids section. Think homework tables is better? Yeah, I think the homework tables is better too. We could get a Wabbit tablet. Would they really have a tablet that's like to be shared amongst everyone? I mean, maybe not. But you could probably check one out from the library. I wouldn't be surprised if you could check one out. And then the toddlers can use it. <laughs> the kids hobby table? You mean these two? Yes, I've got them both. <laughs> Don't worry. I did in fact get both of them. Maybe a fake chalk wall? That's interesting. How do you guys think we would go about that if we were to add one in? Because, oh, I like those decals behind this. That's kind of cute. Um, with chalk decals. Yeah, but like, which ones? These? Like the drawings? I guess we have a couple, but... I don't know. I feel like it's not as easy as you think it is to just... I don't know. I don't know how to like line them up in a way. Is there anything darker than that? I don't know if there is. Um, there's like the black, black wall, but I don't know if I like this. I like the idea of it, but I don't, I don't like how these look. It, it's a, it's fun in theory, but I don't, think that it's something I want to do. I actually liked these little cloud decals better, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a fun concept, but I think um, it might not work for this purpose. Oh, this will be cute. Wait, we should put this in here somewhere. Um, oh, maybe I could like... Oh, I kind of like the little toys together. Um, okay, we have some things there. We could probably get... I don't know, should I use the books again? Like these books? Do you know what? I like this little room. I don't even know what more we would put, aside from, like, extra little decor options, basically. Might put a couple more of these things. I need to, um, use a shelf to place them at the right height, but I don't have one in my game right now, because I'm only playing with the base game. Usually I use Dream Home Decorator so we can get these things to the exact right height, but... Collectibles? Oh, a frog could be kind of a fun thing to add. <laughs> we could put a little frog over here. And then maybe like a couple interesting little gems or something. I kind of like that. All sorts of stuff for your sims to learn about. Could you add the figures thingies? Yeah, those could be kind of cute too. Oh my god, we're gonna have to replace all of this once we get the, um... The shelf in my game. But these My Sims figurines could be kind of fun additions as well. Um... I don't think it has to fill up the whole thing. It could just be this much. Reading circle? Well, we have some chairs. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do like a whole 
circle. I want to leave it kind of open for walking spaces, but we do have some chairs that kind of fits that vibe. The first pick is uneven. Yeah, it's a little bit lower, isn't it? Um, kids sit on the ground. Yeah, they can sit over here to finish the circle out. How about that? I don't think I like this. Should we get a window? Maybe that would help, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I think I like that idea. We don't have anything outside of the window yet. Um, that's nice though, and it helps split it up. There's no windows over here, so it'll help to have something on this wall. Homer partners like the volcanoes. Um, so those are from Parenthood, so we can't use those in here because they're not from the base game. And this is only base game, unfortunately. Um, okay, Lucy Clover R, thank you for the subs. No wallpaper behind the stairs. Oh, we haven't put any wallpaper anywhere else yet. <laughs> so it's not just this part, it's the it's the whole rest of the building that has no wallpaper. Um, unfortunately, we've not done it yet. All right, I like this though. I think this is kind of good. Maybe I'll put another backpack over here just for a little bit extra clutter. What are the kits going to be? Bestie, I don't know. <laughs> they haven't told us that yet. We'll find out, I guess. Um, okay, I like this layout though. I think this is coming along pretty nicely. Let's get some nice big plants around. Probably one by that big door. Um, maybe one over here, a toddler potty in a bathroom. Yeah, I, I didn't put a toddler potty in the bathroom. Um, I guess we could. Maybe in one of them we could do one. Um, that could be kind of cute. Maybe I'll use the fancier one. I do like this one. It comes in a nice blue as well. There. Wouldn't it make sense to have the reception librarian desk a U rather than an L shape? Yeah, we talked about that, or I, well, I thought about it, Nis, but we decided, or I decided, um, that I thought it was gonna be too, I don't know, it just, I feel like if we did it like this, I think it's too tight. Obviously I would place the counters differently, but I think it's too tight particularly in that corner right there. Obviously in real life, this kind of thing happens a lot, um, but I feel like it's a little bit, I don't know. It feels a little cramped doing it like this. That's why we left it open. Um, Cause it's just a little bit tight. Um, it's okay like this, it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of thought about that too, because I figured it would make more sense, but I think at the end of the day, it doesn't really fit that well, so. Okay. Um, let's paint most of these walls just white, and then we can do some accent colors, I think. It is for Newcrest. Yeah, we're trying to build uh, lots to fill up all of Newcrest, so. Okay. Uh, paint all of these things white for now. It's gonna take us take us ages to do the outside. <laughs> Wish us luck when we get to it. Um, okay. Need a diaper changer. Oh, we can't put um, we can't put that in here unfortunately because that's only in the pack the changing table. Uh, that's there's not a base game changing table. It's it's actually only in growing together. And this is a base game build. Okay. I'll use different wallpaper there. Um, you know what? There is, and this is gonna be a lot of wood if we do this. But there is like this really nice wood color that looks very similar to that, you know? Um. So, is there a trash can? No, not yet, we haven't. Well, there's little baby trash cans, but there isn't a big trash can yet. We haven't gotten to the outside yet. Um, 
Ooh, I don't really like how the wood looks behind any of these things. Ick. Is there a, uh, oh. Ick. There's a lot of shades of wood happening. So, it's, it's kind of difficult to... Oh, they deleted my thingy again. Maybe some green tones? I don't know, we have a lot of blue accents in here right now. Garbage cans in the bathrooms? Yeah, we did that, Sophie. There's trash cans in the bathrooms. Um, we did, in fact, do that already. Okay. Um, maybe we could do blue on this wall and brick on some of the other walls, because it's like the walls that have a lot of the um, bookshelves behind them probably won't be too affected by the blue. It's kind of bright. Um, I do like that though. Maybe this could be blue. Oh, that can't be blue. It's all blue in that case. Um, brick on the half walls? Yeah, I don't know. I. This is why I leave the wall paint till last, because I, I find it so incredibly stressful trying to figure out how to paint the walls. One step at a time. Once we get through this, we can go back to decorating. Um, I think... What is this? Oh, this is the, um, it's called uh, Midtown Meadows. It's the 40 by 30 lot at the top of Newcrest. Yeah, guys, we can definitely add in a pride flag. Okay, <laughs> this is the thing. I just want to get the. I just want to get the um, the wall paint finish, and then chat's like seven steps ahead of me. <laughs> I'll add it in now so that you guys don't need to keep saying. I saw you. I just was waiting until we finished painting the walls, but um, I'll put it there now for you. Um, okay, I don't like this wall. Maybe if it were like all white. I think what I'm struggling with is I just don't like how it's um I don't want to see the trim on the in between. So um okay. I'm liking that. And then what floor is that? Oh, this is just one of the base game floors. Um it's just a base game wood floor. Oh yeah, I like the column there. That's helpful. Mural on the wall? That's an interesting idea. Um, I know we want to get a really big picture. The only mural that we have in the base game... Am I being so silly? Why can't... Oh, this is it. Um, we do have this. But I think that this might not, like... Does that seem so random? Because of, like, the different heights and stuff? I don't know. I think it's too much. I like the idea of it, but I think it's too much. Um, I don't know. Maybe for the kids? I guess we didn't. I mean, it does fit this wall if we did this instead, but I think it's a lot. I feel like I like how it looks right now. I don't think it matches what we've done. If there were different swatches, there are some swatches of murals in this game that would work. Um, it's just like, not really any in the base game. <laughs> you know, like some of the packs have some really nice murals, but I don't think that these are really gonna work for us. Okay, what I'm looking for right now is some of those debug, they're not live edit, but uh, I want to find some of those debug, like, pictures. I think they're underneath the, like, clutter or something. 
Um, they come with jewelry decorations. The ones that you get from the microscope, you know? I feel like that could be kind of nice, because it's- there's a big one? Or we could at the very least size it- oh, they don't size up. They have dumb shadows. <laughs> Why? Um, you know, that is extremely unpleasant. Music speakers? Oh yeah, we can definitely add in some music. Okay, how about this? Let's do some windows. Oh, it might not be good. But if there were like some windows above this, mm, I don't know, it needs to be a different one. I hate this like open space above this wall. But then we could do like a, I don't know, is there anything vertical art pieces that are big enough? Do these size up? That's bad. Some kids drawing on the wall from debug. I don't know if I want to do the kids drawings out here. Um, we could size up the big library poster. You're gonna see it when we go to the different walls, but that could work. That could be like a good way to fill in the. You know, it's it's a cool book thing. I think that's kind of nice. Giant thumbtacks? Yeah, ignore it, okay? <laughs> ignore it, okay? It's fine, it's fine. This is really bothersome too, the way it floats in live mode, but... Or in, in this on this floor, I should say. Tragic clown, oh god. I don't know if I want to have a giant tragic clown painting right by the front. <laughs> Frame it with shelves? Um, I guess we could think about something like that. Uh, we've done this before where we like, take some of the shelf items and then we like basically put them on the top and bottom so it has like some, something substantial there, but I don't know if it's necessary. It is kind of cute, I guess. What does it look like size down? What do you guys think about this? That comes out too far, huh? Or no? I really like it. I like how it feels very library, too. I feel like, um, I don't know, I just, I think it's nice. I, I feel like it fits, it also kind of matches the, um, the color scheme, which is good. Okay. Out of the options that we have, I think that's probably the most, like, fitting. Um, okay. Um... Looks like a big scroll. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> um, okay. Let me think about, like... I don't know. I'm not obsessed with the color scheme in here. I might come back to it. We haven't done the outside literally at all yet, chat, so... Perhaps we should go think about the outside more, and then we can come back to that a little bit. You know, once we've gotten some more progress on the outside, because... Right now, we're in trouble. <laughs> right now, we have not done anything. <laughs> so, let's start thinking about it, shall we? Um, I do love this bush. It does fit pretty well there. How much of Newcrest have we built? Not a lot, but some. We've been slowly but surely making some progress in it, so. Um, Check if the recording is still going. I know it is. Don't worry, friend. I am. Um, I'm very familiar with recording builds on stream, but I appreciate the uh, the little reminder there. That was nice. Okay. 
Should we do like little windows or? Does that look so bad? Oh, it looks really bad from the inside. Okay. We need to think about some sort of like big windows. Um, I I don't really know if I'm gonna like how it looks. I don't want to add too many more windows out here. That was kind of my thought process at least. That's a wall. I didn't mean to do that. I wish that we had like wall signs. It's so annoying that we don't really have anything like that. I want like a wall sign. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? I just want a little sign that we can use. Um, something that would like match the vibes that we're going for. If I checked wall decor. Yeah, this isn't the first time that I've built a base game library, so I've really been, um... I've been through everything. All of the things that might work. Like, all of the stuff that you, you've thought about, I've literally tried them all the other time when I tried to do a library, so... Um... Yeah, we even- we tried to use this last time, but it doesn't really match anything, it's kind of random. So we decided not to use that. I mean, like, we've literally tried- I'm not kidding when I say this, we've tried so many different things. That might be kind of cool upstairs, but... The one side that's red cursive writing? Yeah, this- we, we don't have that many sign options in the base game. We literally have, like, these two. So, that part kind of sucks. I wonder if we, like... No. Um... I hate this. <laughs> There's a reason we waited till the end to do the outside. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Let me get this again. That'll be a nice touch. Don't clip though. Okay. Is all the inside finished already? Well, we probably have some more details to add to the inside, but we're looking around the outside now, trying to make some progress out here. Um, we're definitely not done done with the inside, but we're looking around the outside at the moment. Clock? A clock is an interesting idea. Um, I don't think I like these bushes here. There's not, Dika, I just went through all of the base game debug. I literally went through all of the debug. It's too big. This section of wall is too large for this. I don't know. I kind of like that. Isn't it like so random though? On the tower part? What we need is something to go here though. Like we're not really thinking about the tower part right now. We need to be thinking about this part. Because this is where we're trying to find something for. This is the part that we're struggling with. I hate those. Um... You like the clock in theory? Yeah. You still think big windows? But I don't want to have the whole thing be win- Like, I don't really understand what you mean when you say that, because, like, we don't want the whole thing to be windows. Let's paint the walls. How about that? Well, no, I don't want to paint the walls yet, because it stresses me out. Let's, um... Let's keep doing some landscaping. <laughs> And then we can paint the walls, and then we shall figure it out. Um, no, I don't like that. Maybe I, maybe I do like that. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I think that's kind of cute. Wall plants like ivy? Mmm. There's not a lot of options. Uh, there's maybe some in debug, but I don't know if it's base game debug. Um, 
it's really not- we don't have as many options as you think, chat. Unfortunately. It's- it's much harder than you think to find these things. Oh, that looks weird. Oh, because it's in the wall. Well, that explains a lot. Does that still look weird? Oh. Probably not worth using. Um... One with planner box, one without and debug. I hate that one. <laughs> I really, really don't like the look of that one. Where is it? I know what you're talking about. I don't like the- I don't like that item. Um, the texture looks really weird to me. I've used it a lot, um, for builds like this, but I just don't really... Um, I don't know. I just don't really like the- the texture of them. It's an interesting idea, but I don't really think that it works for, um... what we need it anyway. Um... There's so many interesting things. Okay, well... We want to get, like... Should we do what we've been doing with, like, the bushes? Wrapped around this way? I've been doing this a lot in, um, community lots that I've been building recently. This might be kind of cool. But this might help give us, like, something interesting on the corner. And we can use some debug plants. Hmm. It almost makes, like, a walkway. Yeah, it makes it like it has a path or something, almost, which is kind of good. Um, all right, let's find this. And then maybe we could try and put like the observatory item in the back of the lot somewhere. <laughs> That'll probably help too. Uh, an excuse to use the observatory item is always good. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. The observatory helps fill the space, huh? <laughs> it'll- it'll take up a lot of room that we are otherwise not sure of how to fill. Cuz... You know. Okay, um... Maybe we could, like... Put a little bit of a... Pathway. What if it came down like this? I don't know, that could be kind of interesting. So that it walks you all the way to the back. And then we could maybe do the same little half wall business over here. But we gotta find a place to put the observatory. We did the shell tours on stream yesterday, Chloe, yeah, and I'm gonna post a video probably at some point next week on YouTube with those shell tours. Um, maybe I'll make it like that. I like that better. Okay, that's cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Where did my thingy go? Playground outside? Maybe. I'm not sure how much kids stuff I want to put out here, but we can think about it. Mm. Why am I being so silly? Why can't I not find what I was using? Oh, the mailbox could be fun. It's further down from here. Yes, it's this. Benches outside? Oh, we're definitely going to put some benches outside. Yeah, that's absolutely the plan. We will definitely have some stuff like that. Set of monkey bars? Yeah, I mean, kids stuff is fun. The reason that we didn't do that for either of these two laws is because we kept saying, like, oh, there's kids stuff over there. I guess it's kind of far away, though, from over here, so... We can think about it. Um... I don't know. Okay.
I do like that. That's cool. Fake car park? No, we talked about this because people always suggest that we add in fake car parks in my builds. Um, and I don't really want to do a fake parking lot because I, I'm trying to prioritize, like, what's actually usable by The Sims, you know? Um, and obviously a, a fake parking lot is not... It doesn't serve any real function, basically. Um, and so I don't really want to put a fake one because, like, you know, you don't really need one. Uh, I'm trying to use up this lot with stuff that's, like, actually usable for us so that the sims can get some good use out of it it's kind of more my thought process um i think i might use i don't really like that chest tables yeah we're gonna have chest tables in the front probably we gotta put a couple more chest tables that was always the plan oh we're gonna do some wood out here so maybe one of the tables that has like a wooden Ew, I don't want to do green. I could do green, I guess. Some little outdoor tables help. This will be kind of nice. Places to sit outside, you know? Takes up some space out here as well. We do have game tables in the base game. Um... I feel like I've used a lot of the bushes, it's too much. Community garden would be so cute. Everybody's been yelling about a community garden this whole time. I don't really know where I would put it. Um, in a way that would like make sense. Obviously we have some space over here, I guess, but it's one of those things where it's like, do we really need one? Or is, are we just adding it to add it, you know? Um, Next, the observatory. Well, I haven't figured out a spot for the observatory yet, Alex. Um, I don't know if I... I don't know. I feel like if we're gonna do that, we need to redo the whole backyard. Grill by chance? Oh, you've hit a sore subject. The last time I built a base game um, library, I put like a little park in the back of it, basically, and I put a grill out there. People lost their minds. You know how today the whole ordeal was like, the the bookshelves are too tall for the kids. Last time, it was like, why are you putting a grill in a library? And I was like, what do you mean? It's like a park back there. I don't know. But it was like an ordeal. People were mad. There, all the chat was like, why are you doing that? <laughs> it's just like, what, what, what do you mean? It's just useful in game too, because your sims can like cook. I like... Anyway, it really upset people. The grill was a no-no um, for a lot of folks. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll probably put one here though. Grills are so nice to have places because your sims can cook and like level up their cooking skill. If you're playing rags to riches, you've got a grill that you can cook on. Like grills actually serve a really useful purpose, I think. Um, sometimes sims cook for you and then You've got free food. Okay, I don't know what I want to do with this. I'm really struggling. Oh no, I love the interior layout so much and now I'm struggling with the outside. That is silly. I don't know, Alyssa, people are so weird about uh, like realism and builds, especially because sometimes, a lot of times the things that really set people off are stuff that are just like differently common in different places. Like, um, one of the other ones that really makes people so mad is sometimes I'll put, like, a uh, washer and dryer in a bathroom, and they'll be like, Oh my god, that's so weird! Who would ever have that? Um, my grandma's house? I don't know. <laughs> and then it's just, it's just different, because it's different in some places, I guess. Like, some places don't have that. It's the same as, like, a lot of places have washers in the kitchen. We would never have that where I'm from, usually. But, like, it's really normal where you are. But people, like get really hung up on it, you know? It's kind of scary. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. We all, it's its just different from what we're used to, but people get really mad about it in The Sims. We all have very, very strong opinions. So. Um, but yeah, to me, the washer and dryer in the bathroom makes like perfect sense. But I, I know 
from experience that to some people it's horrible. <laughs> I have learned um, from from my uh, my time here <laughs> that to some folks the washer and dryer in the bathroom is a serious no. <laughs> Um, maybe we could try and like extend this out in different ways or something. I'm I'm just trying to think of ways that we could do this and have it be like cooler. I don't know. Cause maybe we could do it like this and then have like a bush here. Perhaps a community garden space. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I want to lay it out. Um, the sort of where can be on a platform. Yeah, I haven't figured out a place for this yet. Um, maybe if we got some trees. Some trees would probably help us. You are too big. They have basically like these trees around the place. So we could use a couple of these. Um. Where else would you put the washing machine? I mean, I guess some people have like separate laundry rooms, but other places will put it like, I mean, it makes sense in the bathroom and in the kitchen because there's already plumbing in there. <laughs> like that's the reason it happens. It's just, there's plumbing, you know? Um, but anyway, it really bugs people, I guess. Um, up some little stairs to an elevated community garden. I mean, it's possible that we could do something like that. I was kind of thinking about having a slight platform somewhere, so. Um, everybody is really, really into this community garden concept. Um, it's a, it's a serious discussion. <laughs> I've noticed it's, it's a real talking point here. So I take it you really want it. An amphitheater with a microphone and platforms? Oh god, Dika, that's such a complicated idea. <laughs> Garden's better for a park or something? And we're we've, we're building a huge park. I can show you guys. Um, the 50 by 40 lot in this world is gonna have a garden too. We don't need to put one on like every single lot, you know? Because we're gonna have a huge park here. We already have a playground here. I mean, we've got... Um, quite a few ideas. Your library has a garden? Yeah, I think a lot of libraries have, I mean, because they sort of serve as like community center type of spaces, don't they? So I think in real life, a lot of libraries might have something like that, but um, I don't know if I really want to. I'm not sure. Um... This has sort of interesting vibes to it. I don't know. I'm gonna go back to the small one. It's gonna be like flat with this, but that's fine. It's becoming a rec center. If you add anything else, people will want a pool. Somebody already suggested a pool. <laughs> Um, we can't, we can't put everything, okay, chat. We can't, we can't have everything on this build. Um. I wonder... I don't know where to put this. Do we delete the hedges? Well, for now, yeah. Um. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is gonna take us years. Well, maybe I could extend this out. How about that? Should I go up one? Ooh, and there could be like a platform stair up to it. I don't know, that's kind of interesting. Got some good sections. I don't 
don't know. I don't know. On both sides? I don't know. I kind of liked it on just this side. Um, and then we can keep these tables kind of around. We need somewhere new for this. She doesn't really fit anywhere. Which is annoying. <laughs> Make a house that depends completely on what chat says. We've done it. It was actually one of the most stressful streams that I've ever done. <laughs> it was so scary. <laughs> That's where the moat meme came from. So. Observatory on the platform. Um, I was thinking about putting some seating up there. Uh, the observatory could go up here. I just never know. This thing is such a nightmare to try and use. She truly is unbearable. Like, I don't know where to put her. Like, she's such a, such a complicated item. Maybe I can make her a new section over here. Um, that might work. Hmm. Should we do fences instead? No, I don't like them. I think it's too close to the entrance. Well, it's all close to the entrance, isn't it? Um, base game debug fairy lights. I mean, we can add some lights in. I'm not obsessed with the exterior of this building. I, I'm not, I don't know. I think a tree in the front there will help. Yeah, that helps space it up. Is there a bike rack? Ah, oh, cause it's base game. It's hard to, um, it's hard to do that. Yeah, wallpaper will help tie it together for sure. Um, so that'll be good. The wallpaper will help it. I don't know. Let's see. We could probably put like, at least one thing for the kids out here. Half walls around the pathway, around the whole pathway? I was just gonna do um, like terrain paint under them a little bit. Did I bulldoze? No, we did not bulldoze. We managed to make it through without bulldozing. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put some benches out here, Dex. That's definitely the plan. We just haven't put them down yet, so. Um. Ah, requirements. We need some outdoor trash cans too. What are we doing? We're building a base game library right now. All right, maybe we can start thinking about the wall colors. I think once we pick some wallpaper, it'll, it'll come together better. We just gotta get there first. So I know we wanted to use this cool like wood paneling. That was kind of like, a, a major inspiration here. We really liked that. So that could be a fun addition. Maybe we could do some more over here. Community lots are stressful. Oh, I find community lots to be extremely stressful. To me, community lots are like the most stressful thing a person can build. I, I, I can think of nothing less, or so, sorry, nothing more stressful than building a community lot. So, the wood is cute. Okay, good. <laughs> That's a relief. Um, maybe it with houses. Yeah, Dika thinks the opposite. Dika likes to build community lots, but doesn't like to build houses, which is not me. I am not that way. Um, like building cafes and restaurants. I like to build restaurants too. I think I just get a little bit stressed out about, um, I don't know, the shapes of these community lot builds sometimes, I guess. 
maybe like the bulk of the building can be this cute blue color. Oh. It's weird. Wait. What happens if this is brick? Oh. It's weird. Maybe blue walls are good? Okay, good. That's a win. That is a win. Is there like colored stucco? Yeah, there is, but it's um... The colored stucco isn't really like baby blue. Like this. Um, I don't know if I like this particular brick. So... I don't know. Would that part all be brick then? And then the little accent bits would be, like you would be blue? Do I think I'm gonna use any round walls in the save file? No, probably not. <laughs> probably not, that, um, listen. I find round walls to be so infuriating. I don't think that's anything that I want to do. So, love the skylight bestie. I like the skylight too, I think it's kind of cute. I'm glad that you like it. It's actual torture. This is the thing, the round walls, you wanna like them. We were excited about them, but then we used them and suddenly I wasn't so excited anymore. Once you realize what it's like out there, it is um, really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Raiden, Fruit Loops, Rustic, and Lane, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, yeah, I, I don't really love the round walls. They're not my favorite things to work with because they're super frustrating. Um, does that paint the right thing? Yeah. There you go. A sign about the front door. <sighs> yeah, so here's the thing. We've tried everything and we can't figure out what to put here. When I tell you we've tried everything, I'm I'm super not exaggerating. The base game is so lacking in that department that I literally do not know what to put there. One of the options that I had, um, and I think this was kind of okay, was like windows. Um, I don't love it. But are there any posters we could use? Yeah, we, so we did this inside with this poster. Um, but even that, I'm not like sure makes sense. I think that the windows were the best bet that we tried earlier. Um, but that didn't really work back here on this part because the spacing of it was weird. Um, I don't know. Painting from the gallery. I don't know if I want to do that. I think that I'm okay with this shape. Vines. Yeah, there's only like one thing that is vine-like in the base game debug and it's not very good. We tried that too. I'm serious, you guys. We tried like so many things. So many things. Um, the book frame. We tried that too. It doesn't look that good outside. Um, when I say, I don't know how many of you guys have been here for a while, I've, we've literally tried everything, and this is my second base game library that I've built, so I've, I've tried everything now on two builds. Um, and it just doesn't really, it doesn't really work the way that I want it to. I've kind of noticed. Um, oh, I have to type debug again. Testing cheats on the dot show hidden objects. Show live edit objects. Okay. Let's go debug. What am I doing? I typed debug in the cheats bar. <laughs> I was trying to search it. <laughs> I 
what I put in the last one. I used this sign that I put it on the second floor. Um, shall we try this in this little section? I do like the big bushes. That's kind of nice. Okay, I don't really love these in green anymore. Now that we're using all this blue. I don't know. I don't know. I also wish that we had more column options, but because of all the, the platforms and stuff, like, it just doesn't, it just doesn't. Like, look at how annoying that looks together. It's not worth it. I'm stressed. This build is hard. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna get through it, chat. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Um, I don't know if I like this or not. I do like how the gravel looks though. That gravel floor is one of my faves. Look at Peppa Pig for inspo. Oh. Yeah, that's a great idea. What we really need is more Peppa Pig. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Wait, yeah, where's the Peppa Pig pictures? You know what, you're so right. We need some additional Peppa in this. I think that is the way. Could use it as a logo? Oh, yeah. Could use some Peppa Pig pictures as a logo. <laughs> oh yeah, what a good idea. That's not scary at all. Oh, guys, I'm scared. You know, Peppa yesterday, she was like killing Sims, now this. It's gone too far. One of the new kits is gonna be Peppa focused. Stop. Don't even joke about that because if they made a Peppa Pig kit, I, I mean, that actually would be iconic. Uh, we'd all buy it. The EA X Peppa collab, perhaps? <laughs> Peppa crossover? I think they should consider it. I, I feel like it, um, I feel like it would work really well for them. You know, I, I think that we'd all be really into it. Everybody loves Peppa. Obviously. I mean, how could you not? Oh my god. Um, there's just so much crossover in the audience. Hang on. I need to show you guys something. This is what you need to know. Um, wait. These are my Peppa pictures. This is what Dika is saying that I should use as the, um, logo for the build. Kayla, what is this? Hold on. I have to show you one more thing. It is a great logo. Basically, um... My uh, dear oh, friend, Little Dika, crafted Ooh. me a costume. Um, and then I took pictures of my sim in this costume and I put them on the gallery in case you want to download them. Ooh. Uh, what's the other costume? Oh, that's Blobby Ooh. from Hotel Transylvania. Um, this is the only cast CC that I have, and I'm not joking. <laughs> this is the only creative sim custom content that I have in my game. Do you like it? 
Do you like the Peppa hands chat? Yeah, I think Dika did a really good job with these. They look really good. <laughs> it's the only cast CC I need. I mean, there's not really any need for anything else. So. Yeah. So. Viscerally upsetting, thank you. <laughs> so where can I download this at? I'm pretty sure that he posted it on, at least on Twitter. Hold on. Surely. Surely you posted it. You did? Why can't I find it? I googled Little Dika Peppa Pig. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So, let me just uh, leave this now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we've been working on building, um, all of Newcrest, by the way. Not that close to being done yet, but we're getting there. Do you feel more at ease now, Simsy? What, after talking about Peppa Pig? <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that I feel at ease. I don't know if Peppa Pig has that effect on me. Oh, here's the sim file share download of Dika's uh, Peppa Pig CC. So if you're interested, let me put this link in the chat for you. 419 downloads? That is so cursed. Why do 419 people have that in their game? <laughs> That's like, yeah, that is upsettingly high. Why do so many people have it? <laughs> About to be 420. Yeah, well, you're welcome, chat. I hope you like it. <laughs> It's the perfect mix of cursed and cursed. Oh, good. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah. I have it in every single build? Of course, of course, yeah. Peppa is my playtester always. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Giant clown maybe at the front door. Do you know what? The tragic clown is an interesting option as the front door sign. Because we weren't sure what to add. Perhaps, like, you know. The way it like actually kind of fits, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it, okay? I'm not gonna use it, not for this, but I just want you to know that it, it was something, oh my god, it was something that I considered just now. It's too big. Too much. Kayla, I need that. Yeah, we all need the tragic clown. I don't know where to put it. How about here? So you can summon the tragic clown if you need to. Can we put Peppa in the next time we do it on pause stream? Oh my God. Hold on, I'm writing that down. Peppa Pig in the unpaused stream. Okay, so basically, during our charity event for St. Jude in May, I'm gonna do another stream. It's been a while, it's been like a year almost, probably. Uh, I'm gonna do another stream where I leave my game unpaused and running on its own for like 24 hours. Um, and we usually try to put really recognizable characters in there. Um, because that way, when you're watching from afar, from like dollhouse view, because I basically build a dollhouse and then put the sims in it, you can see who it is. Like, everybody knows who Nancy Landgrab and like Bob Pancakes is, you know? Um, but Peppa Pig is exceptionally recognizable. It can be like Peppa, Stanley, you know, all the cast of important characters. Uh, Lex, there's a cheat that you can use to disable pop-ups. Um, 
you have to download a mod that enables all the cheats from Twisted Mexi because it used to be a tweet, a cheat, and then it's gone. But you can use a cheat to disable pop-ups, and you can also like put on bill auto pay so that your Sims don't have to worry about paying bills, and then it runs. Trust me, I've probably done like I think I've done two 24-hour ones, and I've done multiple 12-hour ones. So I've probably left my game running for like four or five days straight total. I know how to make it work. <laughs> we we know how to make it work. So, um, let's see, I'm probably gonna film it tomorrow. I'm not gonna post it until next, I might post it next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend. I've already recorded all the videos through this weekend because, um, well, to be honest, I got extremely excited the past couple days. Well, more than a couple days. The past like week, I've been extremely excited about my Taylor Swift concert. Um, and so I've been pre-recording a lot so that I don't have to worry about uploads while I'm in Tampa for the concert. So um, I already have a bunch of videos ready. <laughs> so <laughs> rightfully so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Marissa, come on. Anyway, that's on Thursday. That's two days away. This time, two days from now, I'll be there. And the openers will be starting. No stream Thursday? I I'm probably gonna stream in the morning on Thursday before I leave. Guys, I think she's excited. You know, Steph, I I'm getting the vibes that uh, Lil Simsy might be excited about the concert. Second, ask about the outfit. I do know what I'm going to wear. Um, I'm going to two shows. I'm going to be there on Thursday and Friday. I have an outfit picked out for both. It's looking like it might rain on Thursday. Um, so I, I don't know if I want to wear what I'm going to wear if it's going to rain. I need to like keep checking and see how bad it's going to be. Because if it's going to be bad, I don't think the outfit that I have planned is the vibes. Um, Florida, come on. And do you want to see the stadium? Look at this. Hold on. If it rains, it rains. <laughs> um, she's outside, so... <laughs> it's open, open, yeah. Uh, so if it rains, it rains. Uh-huh. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> um, I'm kind of excited. Obviously, very excited about it. But I'm kind of scared about the rain part. So, I don't know. Um, be careful showing it. What, showing the stadium? It's just the stadium. It's just the Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. There's no secrets here. <laughs> um... It looks kind of scary. It is kind of scary. I think football stadiums are um, kind of scary. So. <laughs> uh, they have roofs that can open and close. Oh, not this one. Not this one. Um, anyway. Where are my seats? Um. Should I give specifics? Probably not. <laughs> like, do I need to give my exact location in this room? Perhaps not. We can talk about that after. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't give some specifics about where I will be located. <laughs> it's a good question, but I think realistically probably not one that should be answered. So. Can you go? Dad, you're literally going with me on Friday. You're literally coming. Oh, not on the floor. You think I'm gonna be down there? No, that's not for me. I'm too scared. Too scared. Crowds are scary to me. They're on the stage, right? Yeah, I'm actually gonna be sitting right on the stage. Like, it'll be like right here, you know? I'll be right there. So. <laughs> Yeah, I know what they meant, Holly. I, I think we're gonna be purposefully vague on purpose. You know what I mean? Um, before I wasn't even gonna tell people what night I was gonna be at the concert, but I don't think it matters. There's gonna be like 70,000 people there, so. Um, 
<laughs> I'll be accompanying Taylor. I'm actually performing. Um, I'll be opening with a speed build before the show begins. So. <laughs> yeah, at this point, it's very sold out, I know. Very, very sold out. Um, it would be a good opener for us simmers, yeah. I, I will never forget when Ninja performed in, like, Times Square on New Year's Eve. I don't know how many of you remember this, but Ninja was there performing in Times Square on New Year's Eve. He was, like, flossing and trying to get the crowd to do it, and nobody was. It was like, oh my god. Wait, what? Oh no, you don't understand. I don't know if I want to watch a video, but look, take my word for it. He was there. <laughs> he was there. Oh, I moved my whole, st I needed my chat back. Hold on. I was just trying to move this one. Um, he was there. <laughs> oh, SimGuru Ninja. Yeah, SimGuru Ninja was there. Playing Fortnite in Times Square. You thought I meant the SimGuru? No, I meant the Fortnite streamer. At one point, this guy was like the biggest streamer on the planet. It was a whole thing. I floss every day. <laughs> Thank you, Ninja. <laughs> Glad to hear it. That's good for you. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Show the video. I don't want to get copyright claimed. You'll have to take my word for it. Maybe you could find one. Every time this comes up, half the chat, when we talk about Ninja, the streamer, the chat's like SimGuru Ninja. We talk about SimGuru Ninja, the other half of the chat is like the streamer. Different people, um, believe it or not. Understandably confusing, but not the same guy. So, I'm so embarrassed for Ninja. What goes on the Times Square thing? Oh, <laughs> I know. Have they ever been seen in the same room? I mean, I guess that's true. You ever seen Ninja and Ninja together at once? Interesting. Could be the same guy. Dad, <laughs> I have a funny story and then I'll build again, I swear. My dad just said flesh. You're probably like, what does that mean? So <laughs> my dad, we were driving to my house one day and my dad noticed that one of my neighbors had um, like key lights in their window. You could see them up there like with the same lights that I have basically, the same like streamer lights that I have. And my dad tried to make a joke and say, oh my God, what if that's dream? This is like pre-dream face reveal and stuff. My dad was trying to be in with the times and be funny and say, oh my God, what if that's dream? Instead he goes, oh my God, what if that's um that flesh guy, flesh. <laughs> Where's the connection? Not a clue. But that is what my dad was trying to say. He was trying to say dream. So, and to this day, that's what he calls him, flesh. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a better username. No, it wasn't corpse. I don't think my dad knows about corpse, Lily. I don't think he was trying, I don't think, I, I think that that's a logical assumption to make for us who know about these creators. I don't think my dad's ever heard of Corpse. He was trying to say dream. I don't know. He he's heard of him now, that's true. <laughs> yeah, see, he doesn't know about Corpse. Anyway, my dad's weird. That's all that you need to know. He says such like, he says so many things. So, <laughs> okay, we need to keep working on this. I'm doing a bad job. I was successfully avoiding it, but we need to come back. We gotta get a move on. Um, when, like, are you asking me when you say silly things?
Never, Dad. Everything you say makes sense. Perfect sense. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Everything makes sense. <laughs> um, okay, how about we do these little chairs? Yeah, I like having the chess tables over there. I think that's nice. It's like, okay, so the other day, uh, over the weekend on Sunday, I was at my parents' house for Easter, uh, and I enlisted my parents to make uh, bracelets for the Taylor Swift concert with me. They were actually very excited about it. They were very enthusiastic participants in this bracelet making. My dad, guess which one, guess what my dad made, the bracelets he made? <laughs> the only bracelets that he made were one that had our, our initials, like the his kids' initials on it, and one that had his own name on it. <laughs> Me and my mom and Dan were making, my sister, we were all making like little Taylor Swift themed bracelets with like, you know, lyrics. And my dad puts his own name. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> Always be your own biggest fan. Exactly. You're so right. Oh, I need to go back to debug again. Dang it. Did you not show live edit objects? Anyway, we were all ready. Curious how you made these? Oh, I just bought like some little beads, like some little letter ones and some little regular ones and bracelets. I need to make one that has my name on it. Cause that's actually kind of a power move. I think that's a good idea. Forget the lyrics, that's stupid. <laughs> I want my name. That's way better. Um, should we do them like this? Do I have too many of these bushes? Maybe I won't use them in these sections and we'll put something else there. Will you trade them with other fans of the show? Yeah, I'll trade my Kayla bracelet with them. Do you think they'll like it? <laughs> I make up just a bunch of bracelets that say Kayla <laughs> and I trade them with people. Here you go, hope you like it. <laughs> I worked really hard on it. <laughs> I'm sure they'd really want that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. You'd want that? I mean, I'd want it, so I'm sure everybody else would. Did you really, Michaela? That's funny. <laughs> unpainted half wall. They're all unpainted right now. I haven't done the rest of them yet. They are all like that. Um, will Simsy exclusive merch only available at the era store? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think there's anything wrong with having a necklace with your own name on it, Sim. I like that. It's, it's more of a, oh, it's more weird when you start trying to give it out to other people. Like once you start trying to give other people necklaces with your name on it, it's like, and, and not like people that you know and love, like strangers, then it's kind of like, you know, what are you doing? It's kind of fun. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna just try and put some terrain paint around. That'll help. I like it, okay. I don't know what else to landscape this with. I don't think I'm gonna finish this today, chat. Um, I have a feeling that I've been too distracted by Peppa Pig for us to be done. Unfortunately, I may have uh, messed this one up for us. Ooh, all this is like not in the same location. Have I been recording? Yeah. I'll probably cut out a lot of this though. Um, let's see. I will probably post this on YouTube at some point. I tend to do that, but 
Very understandable. I too get distracted by Peppa Pig. Yeah, see, I knew you would understand. If anybody was gonna get it, it was gonna be you, chat. Oh, you're on YouTube? Yeah, I'm starting out, um, I, I just made a YouTube channel trying to see about, um, post it on YouTube occasionally, considering, uh, uploading some Sims content over there, maybe? I, I've been thinking about it, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are we doing multiplayer sims anytime soon? Yeah, we have one planned. I don't know if the date is confirmed, confirmed, but we're gonna do one uh, with glue on again. We, we promised we would as a charity incentive after our American Heart Association charity stream. So I will do that again for sure. Um, what's your user on there? Oh, I made this new account called Lil Simsy on YouTube. Um, if you're interested in checking it out. <laughs> to know if YouTube's the right platform for you. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Perhaps I should consider elsewhere. Okay, let me put this on the- I hate this part! Whenever I landscape these, I have to like repaint it. It's not even that I could have done it beforehand because sometimes you know how the, ha the half walls like unpaint themselves? So annoying. Half walls? Not my fave things in the world. Didn't know you had a YouTube channel? Oh yeah, um, you should check it out, Hope. Oh, you're back. How's your flight, Hope? It's all well. I just logged out of it. Hope has access to my YouTube channel. Hope does the closed captions on my YouTube videos. Um, so she has direct access to my to my channel. If she wanted to like type a comment as Lil Simsy, she could. She literally has access to my channel. <laughs> so <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't tell her to delete it. Guys, what is wrong with you? She couldn't delete it. She can delete my videos though. She can't delete the whole channel. It wouldn't let her. She could delete individual videos if she so desired. <laughs> I don't know if she should, but she could. Technically. I don't like these benches. Maybe I'll use, oh, this one could work. We could get it in like a nice wood color, right? No, I don't like it. Can she upload? Yeah. Um, she's on as like a channel manager, basically. The same access that Dan has. Um, so essentially like they, from logged into their YouTube account, they can access like, you can access multiple channels on YouTube. Like I've got like Lil Simsy, more Simsy, you know. Um, you can give people access to like more than one channel under their email. So Hope has access to mine that way so that she can do the captions. So. <laughs> Hey, Aaron, Samantha, Effington, Abby, Carly, thank you for the subs. Um, assume they all logged in. Yeah, no, they don't have, like, my YouTube password. They have their own login, um, and I can, like, revoke their access at any time, basically. Um, she gets to see your recommended videos? She does. She'll she'll know that recently my, my new obsession has been people's grocery haul and fridge restock videos on YouTube. I am obsessed with these. I've always loved these, but I go through phases of like watching them and stuff. I watch, I've been watching them every night before bed. I like get in bed and I watch my, my grocery haul videos. <laughs> I watch these like people show up. They like buy so much food and they put it all over the whole kitchen. And they're like, look, I bought this kind of cracker. I bought all these fruits. I bought, and I love seeing what they buy. It's fascinating to me. I love to know what they buy. And they say, here's my grocery bill. I spent like $450 at Walmart. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. It's so fun. <laughs> and it's like so interesting to see what they buy. I just think it's so fun to see what people have in their fridge. Um, but anyway, I like, they always, I like to watch the haul and restocks, not just restocks. I want to see a full haul. I want you to show me everything you purchase. And sometimes they do like shop alongs. It's like, we'll go to Costco together and then we'll come back and I'll show you everything. And then I'll put it in my fridge. Oh my God. Amazing. Amazing. 
how do you stumble on these videos? I don't know. I, I feel like we've all seen all these restocking videos on TikTok. People make full length ones on YouTube though. I don't want a TikTok. I want a full, I want like a 30 minute fridge restock video that I can watch before bed. Drop the link. I don't have any particular favorites. I just, I search on YouTube, um, like grocery haul and fridge restock, but you gotta be careful because there's a lot of TikTok compilations and we don't want that. We want like the full videos. I don't want a TikTok compilation. I need a real video. <laughs> I like learning this about you. Yeah, I've, I don't know. You've totally been there, see? It's nice. It's good content. Coffee shop drink making videos. Oh, that's fun. I see these TikToks too of people doing restocks, not just of fridge restocks, but they'll be like, come with me to restock my guest bathroom. And then they'll buy like 10 things of floss and like a little bunch of mini shampoos. And they'll like put it in the drawers in their guest bathroom for like when people come to visit. How do you have this much money to be buying all these random things? But I love the videos. I love the videos. My guest bathroom was perfectly stocked. I did have stuff in my guest bathroom. I don't have full drawers of all these random things, but I've got like shampoo and extra toothpaste and things in my guest bathrooms. Yeah, how many guests are these people ha having exactly? I bought some nice uh, stuff to put in my guest bathroom before, um, well, Hope got to use it first before Dan's family got here. So they wouldn't have to worry about like packing shampoo, you know? Anyway, deep cleaning videos. <gasps> yes, I see so many cleaning videos on TikTok. I love it. It's so fun. I'm glad we're all the same. <laughs> we have the same interests. <laughs> I really like to see all this stuff. The rug videos, like the cleaning of rugs. Oh yes, when they like power wash the rugs. Uh-huh. Or just power washing videos in general. Yeah, those are really good ones. <laughs> if you guys don't watch any of these videos, give it a shot. You might like it. Honestly, the restocking, it's like, it's like restocking ASMR almost, where you can like hear them dumping all the things in the bins. It's kind of iconic. And sometimes the, the people that make the restock videos, they have to give like all these disclaimers so they don't get hate comments about like, um, like, you know, where's the expiration date on the bin that you put? So they'll, they give like disclaimers, like, don't worry. I write the expiration date on the bottom in a marker. <laughs> it's so funny how they like, you can tell they've gotten all these mean comments about their restocks. So they have to like clarify everybody's like angers, <laughs> you know, it's so interesting. I just love it. I just love it. I don't like, I don't like it when they only buy snacks though. I don't want to see like a snack fridge restock. I want to see what you actually are buying. Like your real grocery haul. That's what excites me. I want to see what you really have in the kitchen, you know? Anyway. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a chance to talk about this. Um, yeah, tell me your meals, right? Some of the people when they do the grocery shop alongs, they'll talk about their meal plans. I love to know. It's like, it's like a nosy thing too, because people don't usually show you inside their fridge, you know? But when you watch these videos, they do. <laughs> yeah, I'll be at VidCon Libra. I'll be at VidCon this year uh, in Anaheim. I'm excited about it. Feel free to do one, Bestie. I don't know, that scares me. <laughs> I'm not good enough like they are. <laughs> yeah, you get ideas, I guess, too, that's true. I just want to know. I just think it's fascinating. But anyway, we should probably get off stream here soon. I can only talk about fridges for so long. I'm sorry for going on and on about this. Um, I appreciate you entertaining me though, because I like it. <laughs> Show us your fridge, fridge tour. When people do house tours, I love to see inside the fridge on YouTube. So fun, so fun. Anyway, we should go find somebody who's live, shall we? Um, I don't know where to go. I do know that, oh, wait. My friend Shella is playing Planet Zoo. You know I like Planet Zoo. Do you wanna go over there? 
I don't know if you guys have seen this game, but Planet Zoo has a really cool, really impressive build mode that I think you'll probably like to see. So we can go over there. Shella also plays The Sims like pretty much every day, but today is uh, Zoo's Day Tuesday. So <laughs> she's playing Planet Zoo today. <laughs> So we should go over and say hello, yes. Thank you for hanging out. I'll be here tomorrow. We're gonna tomorrow play Not So Berry. Um, and that'll be fun. So we'll get a chance to do that. Um, no, we want to see the fridge. <laughs> Kayla, bring us downstairs and show us your fridge right now. <laughs> um, the rain should take you out on Elliot Rochelle's channel. So make sure you give her a follow. I just shared a 34 month resub. So she's gonna know we're coming. And we'll be here at this time tomorrow. And then we'll be here uh, in the morning on Thursday before I leave for my Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> Usually I start in the morning on Wednesdays, but not tomorrow. Morning on Thursday instead. Anyway, have a great night, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. And I shall see you in Shella's stream. Okay, okay. Good night, everyone. Goodbye.